Johnson & Johnson has delayed the rollout of its COVID vaccine in Europe after regulators in the United States called for a pause because of safety concerns. Six people who'd had the vaccine in the US have developed rare and severe blood clots. It's so far been given to almost 7 million Americans. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, reports. An abundance of caution was cited by US health officials as the reason why they paused the use of the single shot Johnson & Johnson COVID jab. The vaccine, which in Europe is branded as Janssen, was approved in the US in late February. Since then, there have been six incidents of very rare clots in the brain out of 6.8 million doses, so less than one case per million people immunised. All were women under 50, one of them died and one is critically ill. I think this is an unusual occurrence of a serious adverse event that you want to make sure before you go forward, you investigate it thoroughly. And that's exactly what they're doing. They're pausing so that they can look at it more carefully. Similar, very rare clots have occurred with the Oxford AstraZeneca jab. And scientists are investigating whether this type of vaccine technology could be implicated. Both of these vaccines used a disabled common cold virus called adenovirus to smuggle the gene from the coronavirus spike protein uh, into the vaccine, into your arm. So they both work in broadly the same way. And that raises the possibility that something about this type of vaccine could be the explanation for this kind of very rare side effect. 30 million doses of the J&J &J Janssen vaccine are on order for the UK, although it's yet to be approved. It's hoped the delay in the rollout won't slow the vaccination drive here. The biggest concern is globally. The plan was to immunise one billion people worldwide with the vaccine this year. If that's disrupted, it will slow efforts to finally bring the pandemic under control. Well, Fergus, let's come back to the situation here in the UK. And we heard the Prime Minister earlier on saying that the, the reduction in, in deaths is, is mainly due to the lockdown. But we know that the vaccination is playing a crucial role as well. Absolutely. 19 out of 20 adults over 50 in the UK have had at least one dose of COVID vaccine so far. That's a stunning level of uptake. And it's estimated that vaccines have prevented at least 10,000 deaths here. Now, the top nine priority groups represent 99% of those at risk of dying from COVID. So you might say job done. Well, not quite. There's still over a million people in those at-risk groups not immunised and the vaccines are not 100% effective. Then there are more than 20 million people aged 18 to 50 who haven't had a COVID vaccine yet. And I've seen plenty of people in their 30s and 40s in hospital with COVID. There are enough people in the community unprotected to sustain another surge of COVID infections. Now, as society gradually opens up, we will see more cases, but the more people who are immunised, the sooner we will absolutely break the link between infections and deaths. So for now, we are still in a race between the vaccine and the virus with the hope of a return to something like normal life in the summer here with a much bigger task worldwide. Fergus, thank you.